Okay, guys, we need to talk about the Koran burning that happened in central Stockholm, Sweden, yesterday, and why it's even allowed to happen. So yesterday around noon, a man in his 30s was granted permission for a so-called Quran demonstration outside of a mosque in central Stockholm. Unfortunately, Quran burnings like these are not uncommon in Sweden. However, they're usually performed by the same person, the Danish politician Rasmus Paludam. So the question is, why is this allowed to happen? Well, according to Swedish law, Quran burnings like these are protected by the right of freedom of speech. This is also why the Swedish police has no legal foundations of saying no to Quran burnings like these. However, yesterday's Quran burnings did in fact break the law. In Sweden, we have a law that's called Hets mot folkgrupp, and this directly translates to incitement to ethnic or racial hatred. Ethnic incitement is a hate crime that involves publicly disseminating statements that threaten or express disrespect towards an ethnic group based on their religion. This law was clearly broken yesterday. Not only did the Quran burning coincide with one of Islam's biggest holidays, Eid al-Adha, but the man also decided to put pieces of bacon in the Quran at the same time. The Islamophobic intentions behind these actions cannot be denied. And the second law that was broken yesterday was the current fire ban that has been announced all over Stockholm. So, should this guy be arrested? Absolutely. Has he? No. And what can we do about it? Well, starting with condemning actions like these is a good way of putting public pressure onto Swedish legislation. Second of all, it's important for Swedish voters to support politicians who are against hate crimes like this. And not like the current prime minister who said, well, it's legal, but it's not really appropriate. And then lastly, guys, let's not forget, this guy was completely alone without any supporters during his Quran burnings. He had one translator who took some photos, but that was it. The rest of the people outside the mosque were completely against his actions. So, finally, to summarize yesterday's unfortunate events, I think we should call them for what they are. A true hate crime against Muslims. And this is not protected under the right of freedom of speech.